everybody, welcome to Fun Food Friday. Now on today's Fun Food Friday, let me get comfortable here. All right, we're gonna ma be making like um, little mini pies. This would be good in the summer because you could serve it with ice cream, of course, and use the summer fruits. But I'm using canned fruits again. I have apple, blueberry, and cherry, which is the canned fruit. And we're gonna be using the cinnamon rolls, which I'm gonna use every part of this. Okay, now, if you were fortunate enough to get this pan Dollar Tree had, it's the Cake Boss pan with the little um, spirals in it. I forgot what kind of pan they call this. Maybe a tartlet pan, but yeah, I'm gonna try it in this. I never tried this before using this pan. So first time, all right, so these are gonna make four, uh, four mini pies, cause you get eight cinnamon rolls and we want a top and we want a bottom on this. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up here. We're gonna roll this out. So let's get it open. Finally, the weather's letting up a little bit, so I figured, well, it's only the 60s, right? In the 60s, let's do this, you know? Even if you had a smaller pan, you could do it in like a toaster oven where you wouldn't have to heat up the whole, you know, oven. But if you are making something in the oven, why not just keep it on and make this, right? And where's my little... Oh, here it is. I was like, where's my little packet of frosting? Here it is here. Okay. So we got the little thing of frosting too. All right. So we're going to make a top and a bottom out of these. I tried to get the camera a little bit closer for you guys. That's why, you know, I'm sitting down so I could be like in, in frame here for you all. Okay. So what we're going to do, oh, these smell so good already is, let me move this pie filling over a little bit, is get out your rolling pin. Um, let's see if we could do it without the rolling pin. I'm just curious. Oh, I have it on parchment paper, so it doesn't stick, guys. I love parchment paper. See, it comes right off on parchment. And then my rolling pin, too, is like, um, what do you call it? Non-stick type. So, yeah, I am going to use this to roll it out. Yeah, non-stick rolling pin, look. <laughs> uh, not quite, guys, not quite, unless you put it in the refrigerator, maybe. Yeah, then maybe. Oh, there we go. All right. And then like that. All right, let's see if I can... You know what? I'm, I'm actually going to try. Whoop. I'm actually going to try and mold it in here like this. Oh, you know what I should do first? Even though this is non-stick, I know, all over the place, right? But that wouldn't be me if it wasn't. All right, I'm going to spray it with a um, non-stick spray. And like I said, I'm going to be making four, so... I'm going to put three on this side and one on that side. So let's get this in here. And I'm going to try and bring it up the sides a little bit. Like that. They will puff anyway. You know. So like that. I think I'm going to make a blueberry one here so get your blueberry pie filling put it in like so right there and then get your top i'm just going to do it like this guys yeah i'm not even going to roll it out because i want to like um there much easier. And then I'm going to put the top on it. 
and try and seal the sides. If not, like so. Okay, let's do another one. You know what I might do though, because I don't think that one got sealed up good on the one side, and I think it's gonna leak out. Uh, let me try this. <laughs> First time doing this, guys, you know, you're learning right along with me. So, let me like squish it down. There we go. And I'm gonna use some cherry filling like so maybe a little bit more cherry one more cherry there and then get this here and squish it out yes I wash my hands don't worry that's the first thing you do when you cook. Wash your hands. All right. And then I'm gonna put this on the top, like so, and kind of squish the, it's coming out of the sides, but that's all right. That'll make it taste better, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it will, woohoo, okay. Now, let me pick it up, and I'm going to put that in here. I don't know, they're not like that. Okay, let's get our next one. And you could roll it out if you want, but I don't, I don't think you have to. See, you can smush it. And let me get the top ready. Make the top a little bit smaller. Maybe if I don't put so much filling in it. All right, this is gonna be the apple. So here's the apple. Let me show you. I'm gonna put one big apple slice in there. And then some of this, oh, that's the oven telling me it's ready. I preheated the oven to 400. I did it on the um, directions of, so there's the apple dripping everywhere. And then seal up your sides. Like so. And that's going in that pocket. I can't wait to see how these come out. Yeah, so I did it on the, as, the directions on the um, cinnamon rolls. I'm heating it to 400, but I'm gonna cook it to what, when I think it's finished. Cause like I said, everybody's ovens are different. So just keep an eye on it. Um, I will time mine. So to let you know how long it took in my oven. And let's see, what should we make this one? I think I'm gonna make another blueberry one. And you can use your extra pie filling for ice cream toppers, you know, if you're making little ice cream sundaes with bananas and whipped cream and nuts and ice cream, use the topping. Yeah, that's what I would do. All right, so here I'm gonna put the blue, more blueberry. I'm gonna use a blueberry one. I like blueberry, so why not? Oh, but you know what I didn't do? Hold on. I didn't flatten this one out. <laughs> we'll flatten it out. Hey, fun food Friday, right? It's supposed to be fun. So seeing how you really don't have to roll these out, guys, have the kids smush them, right? It's like playing with Play-Doh, you know? So let's put that one on top and seal the ends like so. Oh, I can't wait to see how these come out. I really can't. All right. Like I said, first time, first time. All right. So 
So as you can see, it makes a mess. <laughs> well, that's me. You probably, you will probably do it a lot more, you know, better than I did. So that's what it looks like there. Now, what we want to do now is, and I didn't get it out here. Let me get a knife. Hold on. You know I'm always missing something, right? Always. So, here we go. Got a knife, and I want to, um, you know, put a, uh, what do you call it? Let's, where the air, the steam can escape. I'm putting like an X on the top. Let me see. If you can see that, I don't know. Yeah, right there. That's a good, that's a good shot right there. So let me back up a little bit. And I just cannot wait to see how this comes out, guys. I really can't because right now it looks a hot mess. But we won't know until it's done, right? So make your little X's on the top. So the steam can escape out of these. I don't think I did this one very good. All right, and there we go. Now, I'm gonna put these in the oven. I'll let you know how long it takes in the oven. We're gonna take it out and see how it comes out together, guys. Yes, this is fun because it's messy. And like I said, I think kids would like doing it just for the fact they can do the dough, you know, the um, cinnamon roll dough, like Play-Doh. Okay, guys, let me get this in, see how long it takes, come back, and we'll try it. All right, see you in a minute. Hi, everybody, welcome back. This is what they turned out to look like right here. I just got them out of the oven. It took 15 minutes. I could have went a little less because it did get brown. Um, my oven worked fine this time. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But um, this one sealed good because I got it, you know, sealed well. This one, I didn't seal the sides too well or on this one. But the, the filling in the middle is keeping it together. So I'm gonna let it cool for another like minute here. And then I wanna put the frosting on it. Um, but in the meantime, let me show you this. Remember this I got from the Dollar Tree? Well, I put frozen, I put yogurt in here and froze it because the yogurt, I couldn't eat it fast enough and it was ready to expire. And I says, oh, no, 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 no. See, this is mint chocolate chip one here. This is, I don't know, this is like a caramel something. And um, this is what it looks like, guys. And you hold it like this, it's got the little straw there because as it melts, this here collects the drip so it doesn't drip down your arm. And then you just take the straw and you suck out the liquid. So cool, right? So that juice that I rolled, the um, Old Orchard, I'm gonna be putting that in here. Okay, let, let it sit out a minute or take a warm um, or a hot paper towel to put around it to loosen it up a little bit because it does have a good grip. It does. Like, um, yeah, I had to wiggle it like back and forth. I'm gonna be honest, it was not easy uh, but if you wiggle it back and forth, like so, to get that suction broke, you know, because there's like a suction in there. Let's see if I can do it. And like I said, I got paper towel, and it was warm, you know, to get that one out. This one I didn't try to get out yet. Let's try it. Yeah, you need... You need to break that suction that they have in there. But anyway, there, oh, I just heard something. Oh, there we go. Yeah, wiggle it back and forth. Oh, <laughs> so much for that. Oh, 
boy. Um, hold on. I'm not giving up. I say, you know what I say? I don't know what I say. Anyway, maybe it'll do better with juice. But this one came out, so, and it came out perfect. Look at that. That came out really, really nice. And like I said, maybe I should, um, yeah, because this is like stuck to the sides. I don't know if you would spray it, maybe? Hmm, that might be an idea. Spray it with nonstick spray first. And then use your warm paper towel. I don't know. Oh, look, though, guys. Look at Here we go. That one came out. That one just wanted to be stubborn. But here's this one here. Look how nice that came out. Mmm. You could smell the yogurt. You know, because they are yogurt bars, right? So, isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. Like, if you got yogurt and it's going to go bad, don't let it go bad. Make ice cream out of it. Ice, little ice cream pops. Slips right back in there so I can put it back in the freezer. But I wanted to show you how cool... Oh, well, that one I put in wrong. How cool they came out, right? So, a dollar. Dollar tree. Okay, so over here... I have ice cream in a bowl, you know, because here's my thing, is to take one of these. Which one should I, which one should I do? This one's perfect. I want my grandson to try that. Um, oh, all right. They're cool enough where I'm going to sprinkle some of this um, frosting over the top. Take it over the edge, right? Oh, this is thick. All right, that's all right. Watch what I do. My mind, guys, is always going, always going. I got another boho thing <laughs> that I'm gonna be making. I have so many DIYs in my head, uh, and I got the stuff to do it. Now it's time to do it. All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. I was going to try and make like a, like a, I don't know, a design, but with the fork, you know, the lines. There we go. And then like this, just put the frosting on the top. And then make little lines. Fun, it's fun, fun food Friday. Have the kids do this, do this frosting pot, make their own little fork designs. Look at that, yes. And who doesn't like frosting? Sometimes I don't, you know, I'd rather just have cake with no frosting. Anybody else like that? Like, I like a yellow cake. My dad used to make it like that all the time because my dad was the cook in the family. But he used to make um, yellow cake, you know, out of the box and um, cut it up in slices, and that's how we had it. No frosting. Yep. So I want to reuse that fork. But there we go, guys. Look at that. Little mini cinnamon bun pies. Oh, this one's the blueberry. Look at the blueberries popping out of the side there. It's still warm. I'm going to try it. Um, I got my plate here. We'll put the little blueberry pie there. Let's put this over here so you can see it. And we'll get some ice cream. That's starting to melt. And come on, get off the spoon. <clears throat> there we go. A little strawberry, strawberry, blueberry, and chocolate with vanilla frosting. <laughs> All right, there we go. 
Are we ready? I'm going to try the blueberry. Let's cut into this. Like so. Oh, I don't even have my water out here. That's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, it looks so good. So good. Oh, yes. Make these for like um, 4th of July. Red, white, and blue. Yes, the white could be the apple. The red, the cherries. The blueberry. And then you have your ice cream. You can have sherbet on the side. Yes. Yes. I think that. Let's try it. And I got ice cream with it. Mmm. So good. So good. So fast. You saw how fast it was. I taste the cinnamon in the cinnamon bowl. I tasted my blueberries. I taste the frosting. This is good. I like it. And so fast, so easy to make. And like I always say, sky's the limit. Use any flavors you like, you know. Look at the blueberry in there. Mm. Yum. Mmm. I like my pies cold. I do. I know. I'm weird. Let me tell you. Pumpkin pie. Apple pie. You know, around that time of year. I like it cold out of the refrigerator. That's how I eat it. So these, I would let get cold and have it with ice cream. Yeah. So good. It doesn't have to be warm. Yeah. So, that's it for Fun Food Friday today. Let me know if you're going to try it. If so, what flavors are you going to make? What are you going to put in the middle? Yeah. Like I said, sky's the limit with fillings. Super easy. Yeah, I did use that can. It didn't make, you know, that's what it looks like on the sides. I used that Cake Boss pan. See? But you can use a muffin, bit, muffin tin. You don't even have to use a tin, really. Uh, like a muffin tin or something like that. They have the square ones, the brownie. You can make them square. Yes. Oh, imagine making them like... All right. Here's what just popped into my head before I end this video. For the 4th of July... Make square ones, you know, like the brownie square that you can get. I have a pan like that, actually. And make red, white, and blue, you know, little pies like this for the flag. And then make, I don't know, ice cream. You know, plop this in the corner and then have frozen ice cream like all different kinds i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm just trying to think here outside the box a little bit but like i said sky's the limit if you try it let me know but you're gonna try it's really good guys really really good yeah i wouldn't say that if it was nasty you know me i would tell you right but and it was super easy to make because you know me it has to be easy all right guys Thank you so much for watching. Stay cool out there. Stay safe out there. And yeah, I got some hauls that I'm going to be doing for you. Everybody have a safe 4th of July. And until next time, yum, yum. Oh, they're so good. Let me show you this one. So good. So good. Bye now.